was like in a sleeping with like 12 of them, like in a pack. And then I saw, you know, how, how did you do that? So your first day, did, you didn't oh, tell them what's no. actually going on. Oh, I had a homeless buddy like the third day in. Yeah. So he was like showing me the streets and things like that. No, no, they, they were all aware of what was going on. Full transparency. Oh, okay. Like, no, I wasn't pretending to them. Okay. And even after, yeah, like I wasn't pretending to them like that. You know, they all knew what was going on. I was still mic'd up and everything like that. Oh, okay. Yeah, obviously yeah. for obvious reasons. But yeah, um, yeah they literally, um, we were all like in a pack in King's yeah. Cross, like 12 of us. And like in the middle of the night, like, you know, people are coming over to them for drugs and things like that is also going on. Cause it's, you know, that's just yeah. what's happening in front of you. But yeah, you know, also like talking to them and realizing how bad the situation is like for drugs. I, you know, it's just like escape. Were you tempted? Did you want to have a bit? No, 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 no. But, <laughs> On camera, of course. No, no, but like it was escapism. Like they, of course. Um, yeah, yeah. People go, oh, if your life is that bad, but is, why would you say, Ooh, no, I'm going to be straight? No, exactly. They want that. Like, what else can they do in that moment? Like, mm. everything's so fucked up for them. And it's like, I want to just forget about everything. Mm. And people don't realize that. And it's like, no, like, it's like it changed my perception on why people do take drugs. Yeah. Because it's, it is that escapism aspect. It's like, I just need to get the fuck out of this reality that I'm sitting here drenched mm. wet with no asset to my name, no money, not a single dollar. I was going to ask about the weather. Oh, I, was, I got rained on when I was asleep on the bench and everything. Like it was full, yeah. it was in the middle of winter. I was, yeah, Jesus. It was July, June, July when we filmed it. Yeah. And then I would assume what's the dynamics of, you've got your pack of 12. That's pretty cool. They took you in and look after you like that. What's the dynamics of finding like a good spot? Because obviously there's, you know, limited amounts of places you can find. A so decent shelter. First two nights I was by myself. Yeah. So I was in Newtown and I just like, so I got told by a man that was homeless. He said yeah. to me, I asked for advice and he goes, mate, if I'm honest, don't sleep at night. He goes, sleep during the day and stay awake at night. Cause you're less likely to get attacked or like, you know, people coming over and harassing you. But he also said, if you want to sleep at night, sleep, uh, outside of 7-Eleven and people think, oh, they're there because they want food. And it's like, no, a lot of them are there because this is a security camera. So they feel safer and it's well lit. Right? Ah. So a lot of people that are outside 7-Eleven, people go, oh, they just want my money and food. Like how often they're not standing. I, I walk in and out of 7-Elevens. I'm not always getting bombarded by them going, yeah, can I get food and stuff? They're literally sitting there because they feel safe because the camera, it's well lit. Yeah. And that's that's the advice I got from someone is stay outside Fuck. of 7-Eleven. So, you know, or a convenience store where it's 24 hours. That's where you might see people at McDonald's and things like that. It's like, it's just safety. Like at the end of the day, they're just- Trying forget, to be safe. Just trying to look out for them. They don't pick to be homeless, you know? No. Like it's it's just a situation, you know? They've, they've experienced life before homelessness for most of them. 